In this video, we are creating a simple calculator application using Servlet. I'll be using NetBeans ID 8.1 with Glassfish Server 4.1. So these are the basic steps for creating this application. We have to create a new project. Then we have to edit index.html file. After that, we can create a Servlet file. And then finally, we can run the project. So this is the expected output. Here we have to enter two numbers. We can select any one of these operations and then we can click on calculate button. After this, we'll be getting the result in this format. So to create the calculator app, go to file, new project, Java web, web application, next. My project name is Calculator app. Click on next. Click on next. No need to select any framework here. So click on finish. So this is my calculator app inside which I can find index.html. Let's edit this file first. So I'll be starting with form tag. Method is equal to get. Action is equal to the name of the servlet. I'm giving the heading calculator. first number this is a label for entering the value of first number I'm creating a text field whose name is equal to txt fno break tag in a similar way I can create the text field for my second number so second number input type is equal to text and name will be txt sno now here I'll be taking total five operations that is addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus at a time the user can select any one operation and for that purpose here I'll be creating radio buttons so first of all I'm giving a label select the operation BR tag this is my first radio button that is input type is equal to radio name is equal to operation value is equal to add this radio button will be for addition purpose in a similar manner I can create my other radio buttons While creating the radio button, we have to always make sure that the name field is having the same name everywhere. This name field will allow us to select any one radio button at a time. We can change the values here. So for subtraction, I'm providing value is equal to sub. For multiplication, the value is mul. For division, the value is diff. And for modulus, the value is mod. In a similar manner, I'll have to change these labels. So here subtraction, multiplication, division, 
and modulus. I'm providing break tag. So after this, we'll be creating two buttons. Input type is equal to submit. Value for this button will be calculate. And my second button is of type reset. In case if the user wants to reset the value, he or she can click on this button. Value is reset. So this is my index.html file. So now we can create a servlet file. For that, right click on source packages, new, servlet. The name of the servlet is calcserv, packages, servlet. Click on next. Check this checkbox and click on finish. So this is calcserve.java file. This is the name of my servlet, which is extending HTTP servlet. As we have mentioned, method is equal to get in index.html. So We'll be putting our code inside do get method. The very first object is of print writer class. Here I need to declare two integer variables. So I'm taking x and y, one string variable whose initial value is equal to null. Now, inside variable x, I'll be storing the value of first number entered by the user. So request dot get parameter within double quotes I need to provide the name of my very first text field that is txt fno as we can find here it is giving me an error this error is because request.get parameter method returns string and here we have declared x as integer. So basically to convert this string into integer, we have to make use of integer.parsent method. In a similar manner, I can accept the value for variable y, the name of my second text field is txt sno. Now inside string variable str, we'll be storing the value of the operation that my user will be selecting. So as we know that, for radio buttons, we have given name is equal to operation. So here I'm putting this value inside double quotes. So now string variable str will be defining the operation selected by the user. Now we have to make use of if block that is if the value of str 
is equal to add. As we can see here, for addition operation, we have given value that is add. So here I'm comparing if my user is selecting add operation, then out dot print ln within double quotes h1 result of addition is I'll have to add x and y plus I'll be closing h1 tag in a similar manner I can provide the code for my rest of the operations that is str dot equals my second value which is sub so here I'm providing sub and accordingly I need to change my output I'll be simply copy pasting these blocks third operation is multiplication and the value for the same is mul my fourth operation is division so here the value is stiff and the last operation is modulus so for that inside h1 I can say result of modulus is plus x modulus y so basically this modulus operator returns the remainder after dividing the first number by second so this is my servlet file that is calserve.java which is ready inside index.html file I need to provide the name of my servlet that is calcserv so here after completing both these files I can right click and clean and build this project So as we can see here, build successful, right click and run the project. This is the output. My first number is 4, second number is 2. I'm clicking on addition. So 6 is the result. I'm re-executing it and clicking on subtraction. This is the answer for subtraction. Similarly for multiplication, the answer is 8. For division, the value of quotient, that is 2. And for modulus, the value of remainder, that is 0. Thank you.